Y'all, what's good fam? Thanks for clicking on the video. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. If not, it's about to get a little bit better because I'm going to show you how to do director mode online, how to make the modded cars, drop them in the session, how to save them, the whole nine yards. Now, if you don't know how to do director mode online itself or how to do gift cards to friends, both of those videos will be linked in the description because you need to know how to do both of those in order to do this method here. Now, what I'm going to be showing you here is going to be the workaround. I'm not going to go through the whole DMO glitch. Like I said, that'll be linked in the description. Also, you will need to know how to do gift cards to friends because we're going to use gift cards to friends glitch to save them. You can no longer just drive them into your MOC. You're going to need gift cards to friends to, in order to save them. So with that being said, you'll need a friend to help you with that. Okay. Not only does that friend need to help you with gift cards to friends, but in order to get these cars into a session, you need to invite one friend preferably one friend if you invite multiple friends to your crew they all need to be in the same session because what we want here is we want at least one friend in our crew with us so that when we select join crew members we know exactly which session we're going to we know where we're going to land and we know we're going to land in the same session every time that way you see all these cars here i spawned all these cars into my friend's session because he was in the same session the whole time and that's how that works so if you have multiple friends in your crew they all need to be in the same session i recommend only having one friend in that crew makes it a lot easier and it can be a little hard to understand what's happening throughout the glitch but basically you're spawning the cars in from single player director mode but they're spawning in to your friend's session because you're going to be joining on your friend when you spawn them they'll spawn into your friend's session but you're not going to go online because you'll get the error saying you know there's been an error joining GTA Online. That's where they patched it. So we're never really going to load online until we're ready to go get the cars through Give Cars to Friends. Okay, we're going to stay in single player, spawning the cars into our friend's session. So it's kind of weird because you can't see the cars spawning in. Your friend will be able to see them, you know, and he can tell you, hey, they're spawning in or it didn't spawn in or whatever. Okay, so um, it can be a little confusing to understand what's going on, but I'm going to walk you through it here, and I'm pretty sure you guys can pull this off. So let's just hop right into it now this is picking up from the end of director mode online all right i'm in the clouds i just did the dmo glitch i'm fixing to get the wasted sound in the clouds right um, if you've done DMO, you recognize this. If you haven't, like I said, that video's in the description. I'll also show you how to do, you know, how to use the save wizard to make the cars, all that good stuff. That video is very in-depth, so if you don't know how to do this, go check it out. So you hear that? That was the wasted sound right there from me finishing DMO online. Now you see right here, I'm going to spawn in wherever you have your spawn location. I, I normally use my bunker here, so you'll see me spawn in. At this point, once you see your character, this is where you would use your net cut to lag your internet until the color comes back. Make sure you have the little yellow bar down there by your mini map. You see I have the health bar, the blue one, and the yellow one. Be sure you have that yellow bar before you cancel out the mission here. And then once you see that stuff there, you're just going to press circle to cancel this mission. And then you're going to accept the alert here. Yes. You're going to press X to accept that. And then what's going to happen is you're going to load in here as Franklin in this little cutscene room of Lester's, and you're just going to enter director mode. Just pull up your interactions menu, enter director mode with Franklin. Now you're going to spawn into the DM trailer here. Once you spawn in here, you're simply going to select your online character. So go down to actors, online characters, and select whichever character you use, number one or two. And then just press X to enter director mode with that character. Now once we're in director mode, we're going to go up to the casino because uh, that's where you would do gift cards to friends anyways. So we're going to spawn the cars in up here. This will make things much faster, much easier for you. Now, keep in mind where you're spawning the cars because you won't be able to see them. So either have your friend move the cars to certain places or just be you know, mindful of where you're spawning them because you don't want to keep spawning them on top of each other make a big pile of cars, all right? So find a good spot. I showed my friend, I sent my friend a screenshot and I showed him, hey, this is where I'm going to spawn the cars in right here. You know, if you need to move them around, whatnot. But this is where I'm going to spawn them in at. So once you're here, pull up your interactions menu, just like last time. We're going to go down to garage. We're going to hover over the vehicle we want to spawn. We're going to hold our touchpad to get rid of the interactions menu. Once we've done that, we're going to go to online and we're going to select join crew members. 
Now, once we've selected that, we're gonna accept the alert here, just like last time. We're gonna get into the clouds here, hold the touchpad, press X, we'll get a small black screen, then we'll press circle twice. That was basically us pulling up the interactions menu, spawning the car, backing out of the menu. Now, right here, it's very important you get this timing right. As soon as you spawn down here the last time and you see the side of whatever building you're spawning in, hold down your touchpad, scroll down three times and press X on return to casting trailer and then wait on this alert for 60 seconds. Set a timer, a stopwatch, whatever it is. Wait here for 60 seconds before you accept the alert. That part's very important. I'm gonna run through the whole thing again here for you too. Um, so we get, we get it down pat, but you're gonna spawn in like this and then simply just select your GTA Online character again. Now, if you spawn in and your character is facing the wrong direction, press triangle to shortlist them and then press circle to decline the alert. And that'll turn your character around so that you can select your character. Now, same thing here, you spawn in, you're just gonna set a waypoint to the casino. You're gonna go back to the casino again. Now you see, we can't see the car here because it didn't spawn in single player. It spawned in that closed crew session that my friend is in. It spawned in there. He confirmed that it spawned in. So what we're going to do here is we're simply going to spawn another vehicle that we want. You want to spawn all the cars that you want to bring online right now. We, we want to keep doing this back to back to back until we get all of our cars online and then we'll legitimately join our friend to get the cars. So same thing, go to garage, hover over the car you want, hold your touchpad to close that menu out, go to online, join crew members and accept the alert. Now right here, once we get all the way up in the clouds, hold your touchpad, press X, and press circle twice. It's going to open that menu, select the car, and close the menu. Now same thing here, we're going to spawn in it at our building, and as soon as you see like the side shot of the building, that's where you're holding your touchpad. So right here, hold your touchpad, press down three times, press X. Then set on this alert for 60 seconds. Wait here for 60 seconds, accept the alert, okay? And then you're just gonna rinse and repeat. You're gonna load back into the trailer again. You're gonna go back up to the casino, uh, select a car, join your friend. You know, it's just rinse and repeat from there on out. You wanna bring all the cars you want into your friend's session before you close app. Because we're gonna close app and we're gonna join on a friend and then you're gonna do the give cars to friends glitch to receive the vehicles or you know your friend can do it for you, you can do it for your friend, however you wanna do it um, to receive the vehicle. So uh, like I said, just rinse and repeat from here. Be sure you bring all the vehicles you want online before you close app. Because you won't be able to join your friend from here. If you try to join your friend at any point during this and just legitimately join on him, you're going to get the error loading in GTA Online. So once you've brought all the cars you want online with this, just close app, restart GTA, and then you can load into single player. And then you'll just select join crew members and you'll load into your friend's session, you know, just like I did here. I loaded in and this is the session my friend was in the whole time. And these are all the cars that we spawned in here. So it's a super easy workaround. It's it's actually really quick to bring all the cars online. Unfortunately, you have to do give cars to friends for each one of these vehicles that you want to receive. Now, you know, you don't have to do it all in this one session if you don't want to. What you can do is either you or your friend, you know, split the cars or give them all to one or the other. And then once your friend or you have the cars, you guys can do give cars to friends whenever you want to receive the vehicles back and forth. You know, you don't have to do all the cars here for both of you. As long as one of you has the cars, you know, you can always come back and do give cars to friends later to receive the rest of them, you know, but be sure you take all the cars you want from this session now and that at least one of you has these cars because once you guys leave this session, all these cars will be gone, you know, they're despawn and that's it. So, like I said, if you don't know how to do DMO or give cars to friends, both of those are linked down in the description. The DMO video includes how to use Save Wizard, how to make the modded cars. Uh, like I said, how to do director mode online, so all that good stuff. If you don't know how to do either one of those, it's linked in the description. Also, in the description is going to be a link to Montrex's channel, uh, YT Montrex. He helped me out. It's one of my friends on here. Uh, he was really patient with me. We we kept getting an error trying to join on him. It said it failed to find a compatible session. And what happened was we were in different targeting modes. So if you get that alert when you're trying to join crew members, you're getting an alert that says it failed to find a compatible session. You guys may be in 
different um, targeting modes because we tried everything. We tried closing app, different types of sessions. We couldn't get it to work, couldn't figure out what it was, and it turns out we were in different targeting modes. So massive shout out to him. He was super patient with me while we figured this out. So his channel will be linked down in the description. And that's going to do it for me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a like. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm super stoked this is back working. I know you guys will be too, so we can bring all these cars you've been making back online. Be sure you're subscribed, your notifications on. Don't forget to comment the hidden word down below to be entered to receive free modded vehicles on the Wednesday's live stream. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. Invincible.